made a fine home set. I'm Linda, and today I'm out in the garden and I'm just uh, watering up some of my plants because uh, they're all dried out and it's supposed to have some uh, cold weather coming in. And so you want to make sure that you water your plants, even if it's going to be cold weather. You don't want to just uh, let the plants, you know, sit up and dry out. So I am watering them and I'm also taking some of those plants inside of the greenhouse because uh, some of them have gotten some uh, blooms on them and they were thinking it was spring and now they are got their little cute blooms and buds on them and uh, it's not spring so they're going to lose those buds if they stay outside and if the temperature drops, uh, you know, considerably low. I don't know how low the temperature is going to go and... Um, but I'm just going to make sure that I get them and take some of those uh, real fragile plants inside the greenhouse. So I'm going to turn the camera around let you all see some of what's going on, some of the things that I'm watering. It's really windy out today, you all, but it's not cold out. It's probably in the 50s or low 60s. It feels really good, but it's very windy out. What's going on in my winter? So this is the Globe Artichoke. They're looking real good down in there. This Lockspur is just beginning to bloom. I can't see the focus. If you can see, it's just very, very tiny germination going on down in there. And this, what is this? Snapdragons. These snapdragons, they've uh, germinated. It's a lot of those down in there. It's gonna take you take a lot of pricking out. But you also have to uh, water those. Now the wind had blown over this big tree in this huge heavy pot. So that's how heavy the wind is, how strong it is today. Can y'all see this waltz on top of this stick? Uh oh, he turned around. I better move. They acting very pesky today. Even though it's real windy, they just ready. They think it's great too. So whatever's coming from is going to knock a lot of those out. But he's on top of a bamboo stick that is on my musky dime plant. But I'm inside the greenhouse now where some of these plants look real nice. Like, I'm happy about these brown cherries. They're looking real nice. Uh oh, I'm over watering over there. I had to try to pour some of that off. But, uh, some areas I did not get, and then some areas I over watered. But uh, also, whoop, what is this? Sorry, y'all. I done got spooked by that walls over there and everything flying there and scary. But uh, that is the cilantro. And the deal, it's looking good. I showed y'all all this the other day. But since I'm back in here and I'm watering everything, I'll show y'all again. That's the um, sunflowers back there and some folia, some herbs back there some more deal look how this deal back here has gotten just a little piece i just gotta get just a little piece off the top so delicious y'all i love deal yep the plants are looking nice in the greenhouse but i just came out because i want to water some of them these are some that I just purchased the other day, the uh, blueberries and the lilac. So I want to go ahead and get those watered in, as I was saying. Regardless of, you know, if it's really cold, 
you still have to make sure that your plants do not dry out. So I want to go ahead and get them water in really good. And um, the wind's kicking up, but at least it sounds like it is because I'm in the greenhouse. I hope it doesn't bother you all too much. Okay, these are the sweet peas that I planted. And uh, they're getting ready to have to start getting trained up this trellis that I made for them, the PP trellis. And behind it is the lemon tree. I bought it and also a hose and got caught up. I went ahead and bought last year's blueberries and also because they were beginning to put out some leaves and I didn't want their little tender leaves to get uh, damaged in case there's a frost. I have two of them. And I don't let's see, do I still have a name of them. Yes, I do. So hello darling blueberry. So uh, when you growing blueberries, you have to have more than one variety in order to get some uh, good harvest off of your blueberries. So that what is what my purchase of these dupes are all about. And honestly, I have not look to see if those dupes and these hello darlings because i didn't even remember the name are compatible to each other these onions had was needing some water and they're looking kind of bad this is my turmeric back there behind it so everything just needs to get some water some more deal up front deal is going wonderful that is a lemon and a tangerine that i planted Y'all, have you all noticed that when you uh, buy oranges and tangerines now and uh, most of those fruits like that don't contain any seeds. I've been wanting to get some that had seeds in it so that I can save my seeds and um, let them dry out and plant them. And the ones I've been getting lately have not had seeds. So I'm going to, I'm sure the lemons probably still do. So I am going to see if I can get get some lemons. I just want to see if they've got, <laughs> if they have seeds now, since, you know, I've noticed that the oranges that I've been purchasing have not. So that's why I am excited and anxious for my uh, orange. Uh, this is a blood orange. This is, I'm gonna show you these here. That's, that's cabbage right there. And this is a blueberry. I don't know what am I, let me just get the camera right, you guys. It's hard to water and talk. I haven't managed this deal yet, so I'm sorry if I'm kind of talking about it and telling you about it and then having it, having a camera going somewhere else and then the hose keeps punching up on me also. But, um, this is the flowering cherry, Yoshino cherry that I purchased the other day. pretty plant. I purchased two of those. I got some roses back here. We can move this fertilizer out of the way so that I can water these plants. Go ahead and get these little babies over here. These are some brassicas. I had considered leaving them out, but then I the weather so unpredictable. I don't know how low the temperatures are going to go, and they're small, so I decided I better go ahead and bring those in also. But this is the orange. I'm all over the place. This is the orange. This is a blood orange. And as I told you all in another video, I thought that it had died during the Arctic freeze. But if you can look down there, it had some growth at the bottom. I'm not sure what to do about it. I'm basically going to just uh, leave that growth, not try to prune it or anything until I 
research of you know what I need to do. Probably just gonna leave it alone. Put some more uh, fresh soil in and add some fertilizer. I probably get some Espomo citrus tone and put in it. And the strawberries are looking amazing. Those are in the Dollar Tree stackable. This is where I plant the gladiolus. So when you got bugs or seeds spreading, you especially do not want those to dry out. Strawberries are also looking amazing in the Dollar Tree stackable. This is an early girl tomato. raised beds watered in. That's a that's also an early girl tomato right there. Sage and parsley right there. Got some onions that are getting to get some size on them. are some flowers, zinnias and other flowers. Those tomato plants right there need to go inside the house with the others because they're getting some of these uh, different types of weather and they're not liking it at all. So they need to go inside so I'll take them in with me. So they're smaller. The ones that have gotten bigger, they're not suffering, but the smaller ones are suffering. Most of them in the house, I don't know why I ended up leaving those. They'll be going inside. Go ahead and get this bed watered in also. This little kohlrabi is really going for it in here. It is the only one that's in here. The ones that are outside all look horrible because they got sprayed by the um, crop duster. And I've been pulling those leaves out but I have not removed all of the plants. I decided that I would start just taking off the horrible looking leaves and see if I could save the plant. So uh, that's an experiment because I just didn't want to lose all of it. And I also harvested some of the rutabagas and had them for lunch yesterday. So the leaves were awful and I, you know, just ate the, the bottom. If you just don't want to lose all your stuff, you work hard, you want to, Try and save as many of your plants as you can. You want to get a good harvest. You don't want to, you know, just have planted them and then when it's almost time to harvest them, something bad happens to them. You know, it happens, but you, you know, you want to uh, harvest your food and, and eat it. That's what you want to do. So, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Just a video, just watching me uh, water and uh, bringing some of the things that I needed to bring in from outside before whatever weather we have uh, comes along. What I, you know, I'm not even sure what is expected right now. So I'll go in the house and start watching some of the weather reports. But I uh, hope that you will give the video a thumbs up. And uh, if you have not, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in the next video.